So have you guys ever heard of the Silver Bullet? Woodward Street Racing legend. Detroit area, here it is. Silver Bullet at McCacken. Uh, my friend Woody over there is uh, helping Harold Sullivan. Uh, they brought the car down here for everybody to see. It is a fantastic, fantastic car. Really, really cool. Uh, it's got four exhaust systems on it on the bottom. I'll try and get to that. But let's take a look and go around the car here. So, Hemi. Amazing car. Check that out. Beautiful. No back seat. Beautiful car. Clean, man. Yeah, see that? Ah, hidden gas tank down there, looks like, maybe. So this is what I was talking about. Four mufflers. Basically four systems. Amazing, amazing car. They even got their own uh, model. Lots of Detroit racing history. This thing is wicked. So Jimmy Addison, there he is there. Truly amazing car. Awesome to see. All right, so my buddy said that uh, we could take a look under the car here. So let's see if this, we'll give it a go. We'll uh, put the flashlight underneath. This is what I was talking about before, where there were four exhaust systems on the bottom here. Hey guys, welcome back to Twisted Axle Motorsports. I'm sitting here with Harold Sullivan, and this is the Silver Bullet, legendary Woodward Street racing car back in the day. What we, what we have is a 1967 Plymouth GTX, powered by a 426 Hemi, over 600 horsepower. This car you're looking at right now is the King of Woodward Avenue, the legendary Silver And it was a Chrysler test fuel back in the ninth, late, late 60s. Uh, the Chrysler engineers tested a lot of high performance parts in this car and they went out to street racing, GM and Ford, and nobody would be the car. I mean, nobody. Yeah. It's a legend. Oh, it's so, yeah. I've owned it now for 27 years. Wow. When I was a teenager, I used to follow this car at 18 years old. I only wish I had owned it. Dream came true 27 years ago. I found it. Uh, that worked for me, his best friend had in his garage for about six years and it disappeared. So when I found out, I said, Chris, I'd like to buy the car. He says, Harold's not for sale right now, but when I go to sell it, I'll call you. So about four months later, he calls me up and says, hey Chris, how much? He says, Harold, you got to find me a car. And I said, okay Chris, what kind? He said, I want a 1970 Super 446 pack, penny blue, white interior. Oh yeah, we're trying to find one of those. Yeah. So between him and I, we found one in Ohio. So I sent my mechanic and him with my trailer and truck. They went down to Ohio. He looked at it, he loved it, he brought it back to Detroit. He took it home, he brought me the silver bullet, and then I restored it. So that's how I ended up with it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. My dream came through. Oh man, it really is a dream. It's great to see you in person. I'll tell you what. So I was wondering, what's the purpose of the four exhaust systems on me? Well, here's, here's what they did back then with Jimmy Addison. Yeah. The Chrysler engineer had to design a muffler system that would be as quiet as possible so they could do some street racing and still drive on the streets without any ticket. <laughs> so that's okay. what they did. That's why they designed, and these mufflers are 68K 
Cadillac mufflers because they were the only mufflers. They had a two inch, two and a half inch inlet and outlet. Okay. So that's why they use those mufflers. Wow. Uh, uh, so show me the inside here. There's no, there's no back seat. No. What they were doing? Like, now see, these are fiberglass fenders and, oh. and, and uh, doors. Uh, the hood is fiberglass. Jimmy Addison tried to get it as light as possible down to 3,200 pounds. So they took out the back seat. They put the 68 band seats in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, he took out the glove box. He took out everything he could to get it as light as possible. Right. And then uh, that's that's why I would do consistently 10, 30 speedboard a mile. Oh, back, back, back then. Back wow. then. That's and, huge. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're top fuel, you're doing eight seconds. Now, this was doing 10 seconds yeah, on I mean, the street. Now, I mean, I've heard rumors where maybe the car was jet and things like that to make it lighter and stuff. I mean, no, I don't know. Fiberglass. Actually, this is the original okay. fiberglass doors and fenders on the car when I got it. Oh, wow. Okay. So we restored them, and I had to replace the hood and the back wow. And here we are today. Man. At a wonderful car show. Right oh, it's, a, it's beautiful. One man. of the best. My first time here. Oh, man. Best show I've seen. I hope you have a good, good time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Harold. All right. Thanks, guys. Right, Stay tuned. That works. It does. It works. Absolutely. Stay tuned for more videos. We really appreciate it. Thanks again, Harold. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Just easy.